So, <sighs> this week has not turned out how I had imagined. I don't know if any of you have had any techie techie problems before, but they do happen and I'm no exception. Uh, this week we will be doing the art haul. Yay! I was actually meant to do it a few weeks ago, but instead I got completely immersed in the canvas, as you will have seen. Thanks for watching. And I decided to abandon the idea for a, for a rainy day. To those of you that are new, welcome to the crazy. That is my art vlog, essentially. Uh, if you don't know, if you are new, just to recap, this channel primarily is me going from literally nothing, like having no artwork, nothing. It is basically documenting the journey of me becoming a self-sustaining artist, whatever that looks like. That's what I dream of. And this channel is basically in aid and to document that. Bit of an update. I have convinced my husband to allow me to paint over one of the works. And it was the painting that you, the first canvas actually, that I did on this channel. And I said to you, to be continued. Well, it's continued. Look out for that because, um, yeah, I'm going to attack it. I've got footage, like I've got documentation of it. This is the great thing about this channel. I've always said this channel is just an extension of my sketchbook. It's a, it's a digitized sketchbook. I've got references for it, but yeah, it's got to go. It's got to go. I've moved on. I've moved on. I'm babbling now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you here. We're going to get on with the art haul and unboxing. Thanks, guys. Enjoy! It's just full of swatches, all right? This week is just full of new materials. I thought it would be best just to do it in a one -er, like a one -er video for you. Some materials I've never really used comprehensively. Others are just a better version of materials that I use constantly. The better version being from Pentel Oil Pastels to a full set of Snellier Oil Pastels. <laughs> Big jump, guys. Big jump. But this is large in part because I'm going to be creating work now for the website. And I really want to make sure that what my customers or collectors are getting is a true reflection of the time and investment that, you know, you want to put in. You, I want to make sure that I'm selling works with the best materials that I can afford. Just a heads up, we've got the 120 range of Sandia oil pastels, very excited. We do have the 72, I think it's 72, is it 72? The Caran d'Ache Neo 2 colors. And we also have the gouache palette. I don't know what it's called, come on. Maya, Maya, that came off Amazon. I've seen a lot of illustrators use them. They are cheap for what in fact you get, but they are highly recommended. So we have focused on these three mediums today. Swatch them all, play with them all, have a giggle, have a laugh, and it will be fun. And, and crowbar them together, obviously. Also, subscribe. You know, if you haven't already, subscribe. It's free. Do it. So let's just get started. Let's go. Let's get on with it. Thanks guys. Okay, so we've got a delivery. However, oh, one thing I will say, it's a lot heavier than I thought it was gonna be. Wow. That is a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Oh Jesus. Wow. Yeah, that's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Oh, I'm so excited. So this is the, all the colours. Oh my word. Okay, so. Oh my God. Oh yeah, this is gonna be epic. This was actually quite reasonable. It's one of my favorite colors. Oh word, this is gonna take me ages. Oh, this is also my favorite color. Oh, these are just satisfying to take off on me. 
what I'll do is I'll take all these off. I know it's like ASMR-y. But we are going to be here for ages. And I'll probably have to edit most of it out because it's going to be like an hour long. So, oh, that's so good. Yeah, I'll do all this and I'll be back. Well, that was epic. I love the fact that they've got like handles like that. All of those. Ooh. And then every time I was taking one off, I was wiping my finger, so I think the sponge looks amazing. So these colours are not the best, certainly for sort of some of these. So I'm going to do a swatch -a rooney now. I'm going to do it on the Stillman and Burn. And we're also going to use a bit of this brown paper because this was the reason I got more of the gouache. Let's go in. I'm so excited. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. biggest swatch I've ever done. See how, see it's coming up quite matte there. Nice. I know that I said that I didn't like them when I got the smaller pack, but there was some work that I saw other artists doing, like I think it was on Instagram. They were with these Neo Color 2, so I was quite excited by that, and I thought, well, maybe I judged too fast. I decided to commit and get the full lot, so I'm quite excited about this. Oh, there's something about new art materials. Oh, yeah that I don't know. I mean, how beautiful is that? It is quite swatch heavy, let's be honest. I'm doing it on the 165 GSM mole skin. Let's just jump in, shall we? all the swatches done my hands killing me but what i am gonna do is mess around with the colors that i am probably more likely to be drawn by sorry wobbly wobbly so they're very different when they're wet and they do mix quite nicely to be fair they do go quite nice on wet i know i've said all this before but um you know how indecisive i am mm -hmm. Yeah, I just need to play with these a bit more, I think. But uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with them so far. The reason I didn't like them before, not because they're not great products, it was because I didn't like the colours. Let's see, the paper's already ripping. Is it still? Yeah, and it's seeping, so I better stop that. It was the, um, the colours, you know? There wasn't a variety. I'm really drawn to, like, these muted colours, you know? I like the dark reds. And the kind of peaches going into these kind of blues, then the dark blues. So the bits in the middle, like the big, you know, those really primary colours, I just, I avoid. I don't know why. It just doesn't ever have, it doesn't have any room unless I neutralise them. I could see if I could neutralise like a red. So this is like a primary red. Um, what's this one? 
saffron in. Let's see if that will work. Oh, it does. It does. When you put it on, actually, it doesn't move. I don't know, I quite like that. The best sort of mixing on that paper because it probably wasn't the best paper for water soluble, but I'm trying to make use of this bloody sketchbook. Dab, dab, dab. I'm really happy with that, actually. Potential. So this week is Swatcheroonie heavy, but who doesn't love a Swatcheroonie? So here we go, an early Christmas present from my beautiful husband, very excited, and he didn't make me wait till Christmas. Ooh. I didn't realize the box was as big as it actually is. It's huge. I'll go on the Stillman and Burn. Yeah, let's get started. I'm gonna be here all night. They are smooth. Oh, they are smooth. There's no doubt about it. What I have found though is the sleeves on them are, you know, not on very well. So what I might do is take time to take the sleeves off and then just pop them in there so that I know what they are. I'm also gonna get some acetone. Put a bit of red in there maybe. They do mix really well. This is obviously quite textured paper. So brilliant for mixing. So if we use a bit of black then. So we do that, and then we get a nice bright yellow that I probably won't use. Oh, it does. And they wipe off quite well. So, for example, do that, and it just wipes off. That's not bad, actually. I'll just put it on there, because I've done it with the hand. I don't know what this is, though. What is that? I'm gonna have to research that. Where's the pamphlet? Pamphlet, uh, medium, transparent, transparent, medium it doesn't actually state what you'd use that for though does it google high pigment loading smooth creamy texture made with an extremely pure binding medium okay well i'm probably gonna have to do a bit more research on that little little one uh these are extremely pigmented very very buttery so if i go and get my pento i think they're called pento but really cheap oil pastels I mean, see, I think these stand up to criticism, to be fair. Yes, they are cheap and cheerful, um, but I think they stand, stand up, really. Granted, they're not as buttery as these, and they don't, they mix, but they don't mix as well as these do, which is to be expected. They don't do bad for the amount that they are. So a box, full box of them, which is like 36, I think, it's like six, six, seven pounds. Obviously this box is far more pricier, hence why I've got it for Christmas. And the only reason I got it early guys was you, you guys. Thank you for that. So I can play, uh, I think it's Pentel, isn't it? Pentel. There is a huge difference in quality and texture that's to be expected equally though, because I'm going to be doing this website and selling and I wanna make sure that they stand the test of time so they're light fast. I also wanna make sure that I'm using quality products on the pieces, it, just in terms of like for printing, it makes it much nicer because the pigment's already there so I won't need to obviously do much work. Not that these aren't great, they are, but I think I'd still use these, but maybe on a mixed media capacity. If it was a full oil pastel piece I was quite happy with, I'll probably use these, but just for sort of dots or what have you, I would still use these, definitely. Well, how about that then? Hang on, let me get myself sorted. It's always the way, you know what I'm like. When it comes to materials, not always is the expensive always the way to go. I find, I'm sorry, I'm very experimental. I'm still kind of trying to get to grips on materials. Yes, I was at art school for seven years, but 
Equally, my work consisted of installational sculpture, that kind of stuff. So using and experimenting and getting experience on different mediums was never my gambit. So a bit behind the times regarding that. So this week I have got a lot more new materials as you've seen. The main reason for that is because I feel I'm at a place now where my work has moved on so much that I'm starting to create work. I'm happy with my my capability to execute a piece and, and not have it as like, you know, a throwaway every time. I don't know whether I'm making sense. I like to invest in my materials, but not until I know that I can use them you know, because I, I couldn't, I can't deal with waste very well. All these things, all these decisions and stuff matter to me. I'm all about the process. The work at the end, yes, is a byproduct of that process, but my investment is the process. Feeling the materials and my experience with them and whether they mush together or how they react with another medium, that's what it's about. That is what it's about. I think we could go on about, you know, using certain mediums, using certain materials to the end of time but it is personal preference. I love oil pastels, I love gouache. I need to work more on the neo colors. That's, that they're, they're kind of a law unto themselves. Much like the art graft, they're a law unto themselves, so these things. But I think that they'll lend themselves much better to out and about. So the next weatherproof day, I'm going to take these out. I am going to pack a, a plein air bag. I have got, I moved my studio around again. <sighs> I know have some paper sort of there it's all kind of in there you've got a palette I've got some wet wipes in there so what I might do is for next week I'm going to create a go bag and then we'll go out and trial it trial it anyone's got any advice let me know in the comments below and even better pictures guys pictures you know we've got a community wall now I don't know whether you can post on my community wall I'll google it but somehow somewhere we've ended up with a community wall so you're going to see more of that so engage with that that'll be great 